could be our new secret hangout. Yeah, just me, you, and a couple thousand doorknobs. Look at this. What is it, Daphne? Some kind of journal belonging to a guy named Theodore Avocados. Theodore Avocados? That's George's dad, the one who was arrested for diamond theft even though the diamond was never found. Well, according to this, he really was the thief. The confession is right here in black and white. Playtime is over. Wait, you can't go in there. Watch me. Gorgeous. Oh, no. This is awesome. Jeepers, who is that? The greatest woman who ever ruled. Cleopatra, last of the pharaohs. Atop her head, she wears the golden crown, and around her neck, the ruby ankh necklace. Oh, Velma, that's just like York. <clears throat> I mean, wow, and I thought I knew how to accessorize. The tomb itself is sealed. Imagine, the crown of Cleopatra waits beyond this door. Please wait. We have translated the hieroglyphics. Thus spoke Cleopatra, a curse on those who would defile the secret tomb of the pharaohs. The Nile will fall and the desert will rise. The army of the undead will awaken and all who enter will be turned into stone. <laughs> <laughs> the Nile will fall. Freddy, we saw the river ourselves. It was completely dry. But what does the desert will rise mean? Boop! <laughs> and like, awaken the army of the undead. Let's hope they have a snooze button. Yeah. <laughs> Nice try, Cleo, but we didn't come all this way to leave empty-handed. Hey, you. These caves stink. Like, yeah, that is some fishy perfume. Hmm, seawater. These caves probably feed right to the ocean. Okay, Velma, you're up. By moving the six pieces of the planospheric disc around, you can pinpoint any location in the world. But Pericles somehow deciphered the location without any pieces. That got me thinking, maybe these numbers on the scroll were written by Pericles. Of course, coordinates. But which is the right one? That's where my theory comes in. If I'm right, shining light down through the pieces as they move should reveal coordinates that match one of Pericles' calculations. Ooh. See if any of those numbers match the numbers on the scroll. I found it! I found it! Good job, Scooby! <laughs> now, plug those coordinates into my GPS. Track on the mystery machine. Isn't this cozy? Us? Alone? No one to watch over you? Or your piece of the disc? Why do you want the disc so bad? They lead to a treasure beyond calculation, dear Scooby. A... Huh? 
It's Rock Rivers. The curse has claimed another victim. Rock Rivers is solid. Rock! Listen, guys. It must be the undead army. They're close by. Uh, not again. Like for once in my life, I don't want my mummy. Keep out of sight. Let me go! They've got Dr. Von Butch and her gruesome twosome. And she's wearing the off necklace. Okay, guys, it's time for phase two. Interesting. <laughs> Mountain climbing hurts. There's the summit. <laughs> oh, boy, it sure is dark in here. Hang on, I have a lantern. Got me. I, I give up. Who are you? Why did you attack us? Who am I? That's a good question. I I, I call myself Boron. Yeah, because I'm a uh yeah. I remember. I'm a Boron miner. Yeah. <laughs> don't think I don't know. You're up here to steal my man. Hmm. Stay where you are, honey. I got these punks covered. The lucky soccer ball. You can't take him. He's the only man who ever loved me. He feels my pain. Don't worry. Nobody's taking anything. <laughs> Fred. <laughs> now, Miss Boron. Oh, please, call me Boron. Why did you attack Scorpion Wells? And where's your crazy flying demon woman costume? Demon woman? That's not me. That is the Dark Lilith. She's evil! <laughs> It's her! Evil girl lives on his boat! The mountain boat! Quiet, old woman. Since my warnings went unheeded, now your lives shall be deleted! Guys, I think I found something. What kind of crab monster would need stairs to climb up into the volleyball tournament? One that's very industrious and has a degree in engineering? The answer is no crab monster. I don't care who did it. I just want Daphne back. Fred, is that you? Now I hear her voice everywhere. And her voice sounds as sweet and as perfect as a trap snapping shut on a criminal. Did I say that out loud? Come on! Help! Daphne! Fred! Oh, Fred! Thank goodness! I'm so glad you're... Hey, this is a nice cage. <laughs> 